Hello Trailblazers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create orders, amendments, renewals in Salesforce Revenue Cloud Advance. So this is the agenda of this meeting. So we will see how to generate an order, how to amend the order and how to cancel the order and as well as how to renew an order. Okay, so without wasting time, let's see a demo of how to do each of these in Revenue Cloud. So just to save time, I had created an account and associated an opportunity and a quote. If you look at this quote, what I have done is I have added a subscription product with the product selling model as term based monthly. So that's why you see the subscription term as one and start date and end date set to one month. Okay. Now let's say this quote has gone to the approval process and finally it's been accepted. Right. And now in order to generate an order under the actions, you'll notice the button create order. Let's click on the button create order. You will see a notification that the order was created with the same details that we see on the quote. And if you're good with it, let's activate it. Okay. And after you activate the order, let's go back to the account. Under the account, you will notice another tab called assets. Yes. Under asset, you will be seeing the product that we had just ordered. Correct. So this is the primary difference between the Salesforce CPQ and Revenue Cloud Advance. There is no subscription products that will be created even for subscription products. Okay. If this is clear, let's see what this is. Okay. If you view the asset, it will have a dashboard view wherein you can see there are three views basically to see the quantity changes, the monthly revenue, uh, revenue and the current amount. So the, it is a nicely pictorial view of viewing the timeline of your asset. Okay. Now again, let's go back to the account. Let's say now if you want to amend this asset, you basically want to increase the quantity by let's say three. So all you have to do is select this product, click on the button amend. And let's say if you wanted to do the amend, not from today and let's say you wanted to do it from tomorrow. Okay. Or let's say after a week. So let's submit it. Let's click on schedule amendment. An amendment quote is created. Okay. And here on this quote, we can increase the quantity. Let's say we wanted to increase the quantity to three. So we will give the quantity as three and we will save the changes. Right. And also let's assume uh, this quote has also gone for the approving process and everything looks fine and it was accepted. And once the quote is accepted, let's again generate an order. Then order is created. And let's see here, you will be identified, you will be notified that there is a quantity increase. Okay. And if you're good with this, let's activate it. Right. And let's again move back to your account. Account the account, let's again navigate to the assets tab. Under the assets, now you will see the quantity will be increased. Let's click on the record view. 
now go to the dashboard view now if you see right the quantity will be remaining as one and from the next week onwards the quantity was increased by three so that's the reason it became four increased by three became four similarly the monthly recur recurring revenue have also been increased from twenty dollars to the newer amount okay also if you go to related you need to keep in mind about these two related lists one is asset actions and the other one is asset state periods the moment you create an asset under asset actions a record will be created with initial sale okay this record will be created okay and then the asset period with the initial quantity as one okay and now since we had increased the quantity under asset actions there will be another record created with the category as upsells and similarly under the state periods the updated quantity of four will be created okay so basically the asset actions will identify what action was performed whether it is an upsell or a cancellation or a renewal under the state periods you will come to know what was being changed okay if this is clear again let's go back to our account and now since we had saw how to amend an asset let's see how do we modify or let's say we will talk about how to cancel this asset let's say we don't want this product any longer we are not happy let's select this product and you click on cancel this is like termination so you don't want to have this product click on submit here it says there are more errors because we cannot cancel the asset because the cancellation date is provided before the start date of the upcoming amendment or renewal okay so because we had altered the quantity around right so what we have to do here is we have to click on cancel and let's say we are going to cancel it from first and now if you notice the quote line quantity is minus 4 so every product that we have like the quantity that we have added was turned negative such that we get a negative balance okay and let's again move this to accepted and as well create the order and now under the order you will notice that this is being cancelled and let's activate this order and then let's see the the account go back to your assets view this record as we discussed if you observe let's refresh this if you observe sorry if you observe under the asset actions you will see that a new record was created as the category as cancellations okay and under the state actions since it was a cancellation there was no state that is defined because there is no change in the state and so if this is clear let's see how do we handle renewals in rca okay i had also created one more account okay and created a quote i have added the same product okay let me check if there is any associated order yes 
the order has been activated to now if we go to that associated account under assets we see that a prod an asset has been created and if you look at the dashboard an asset was created now let's try to renew this asset okay now again go back to your uh, account under the asset select the product click on the button renew here in the renew you will find two options one is automatic renewal and the other is override renewal term automatic renewal means it will automatically renew to whatever subscription term that you have defined on your existing order okay now let's choose the first one automatic renewal let's submit this one right now if you notice it got extended by one more month it is from september to october okay let's again accept this and then quickly create an order let's go to our order this is the new order okay and we are good with it let's activate this order and go back to our account now under the account let's go to the assets tab under the assets tab let's view this let's go back to our first let's observe this as you notice there is a new asset action created renewals with no change in the quantity we haven't done anything under asset stay period since there is a new uh, renewal cycle that was being initiated under the asset period too you will notice a record that is created okay and to get a better view you can as well go into the dashboard view and you can notice that it is further extended till october end earlier it was only till september and it was renewed further by one more month okay hope this is clear now let's also see how to uh, partially uh, renew okay so for this what we will do is let's quickly create one account let's say it as geo save it let's quickly create an opportunity let's give it prospecting and some date save this okay. let's create a quote okay and now browse catalogs so if you're not clear of how to create a product how to associate a product I would request you to please refer to our earlier videos that will give you a better idea of how to create a product and how to add it to our code. Okay. Uh, let me go back. Let me choose the service catalog. Under service, let's go to training. Let's select this product. Save the code. So the product is created and we have added this product okay let's uh, say this is again been accepted and let's create an order an order is created right well appears good so let's save this order and as you know once an order is created in order to see the assets you need to go back to your account under account you will go to your assets under assets you will see your product and if you view your product you will see 
that there is one action that is created as the initial sale and one state period because it is a newly created record okay this is clear let's again go back to the account and now let's again renew the account now instead of selecting the automatic renewal let's select the override renewal term okay here let's select the renewal term as let's say 30th from september to let's say to october 29th okay let's submit it so if you had your own predefined time duration you will select the override renewal term okay hope this is clear again it is the same process that we have to follow we will accept the quote we will create an order we will navigate back to our order if things are fine we will activate the order and then you will navigate back to your account under account you will navigate to assets now under assert if you open the assert go to your related section you will see another record that is created that is renewals okay and you will notice also a record that is created in the state period and now if you look at the dashboard view that will give you a better view that the initial product was till september and again there was a renewal that is occurring from october okay you will see the same thing under revenue too okay hope this is very clear now right on how to create an order uh, the amendment cycle and the renewal cycle along with cancellations in revenue cloud advanced if you have any questions feel free to comment on this video and we will come back if you find this video useful please don't forget to like this video thank you